These are the Palo Alto marshlands in California, and today I will explain a little about their ecosystem. The marshlands have all sorts of animals, from spiders, to seaweed and snails, to geese and crabs. If you don't know what a marsh is, a marsh is a place with mostly waterlogged terrain and that has mostly herbaceous plants. Herbaceous means having the characteristics of a herb. Since the Palo Alto marshlands are saltwater, this means that the ponds, when they dry out, will leave patches of salt. The salt has been described to smell putrid, like rotting seaweed and plants. The plants here are mostly grasses and some trees. The woody plants aren't as common as they are in other places though. If you traverse the marshlands in Palo Alto enough, you may come across blackberries. Blackberries are most common from August to October. As you can guess, the blackberries are edible, although you have to be very careful since their stems and leaves are very thorny and you might get hurt. You might wonder why the grasses and other plants in the marshlands seem so dry. This is because the marshlands I'm showing right now have salt water, like I explained at the beginning of the video. This means the plants can't drink the water and therefore get dry. So the plants depend on wet rain to get water. Upon further investigation, the grasses of marshland contain habitats for ground squirrels uh, who bury underneath the ground when their tunnels are hidden by the grass. Here is a ground squirrel tunnel. If you look like at a ground squirrel carefully, you might notice that they have spots on their, on their fur. This helps them blend in with the grass and dirt of the marshlands. Also in the marshlands, but closer to the water, you can find clams, mussels, and several sea snails hanging onto the rocks. The high, low tide right now lets me see them, but soon the tide will rise and they will be covered for the night. 